Yeah, these are the videos and pictures that I took today. Mm -hmm. Um, some of them Braintree and the rest of them. Uh, oh yeah, some of Braintree. Oh, there's U.S. Postal Service. Braintree, Boston, and Quincy. Yep. There's a there's a truck from this place that keeps stalking me. It's number thirty three. Um, you know, it drives past me one way, then it drives past me another way. You know, it's 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 been it's been stalking me for a few days actually. Um. Oh, I've been I've been really getting stalked a lot at the Braintree T, T station. Um. You know, I got stalked. I think I was at the yeah the Quincy Center T station. That was terrible. You know, with like the the garbage the garbage barrel and that sort of thing and sleeping around me and that kind of thing it was really it's just it's awful really it really is awful um some of some of the ads on the trains you know this 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 place was like i had thought about trying to sort of maybe no, i wasn't going to learn swahili but like maybe trying to learn how to teach english as a second language and i saw the ad for them like a couple weeks ago um, and I looked them up on the internet, and like the next thing I know, they've got these ads on the train saying something like, "If you if you register if you register by December 9th, blah 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 blah." I was like, "Man, you know, it's just what what, <laughs> you know." Um, this this I wasn't really sure of, you know. This this is this is you know, I think not not meant to be disparaging towards me. Uh, the ads seem to be not quite not. You know, I mean, they don't, they don't seem to be, like, sometimes they get better and sometimes they get worse. Do you know what I mean? It's just, I wasn't, I just, I don't, I don't, there's this, this is really awful. And I, just, I, I just don't have size D boobs. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say this. Um, you know, sort of various things. This, this was, this was pretty bad. This was, uh, like, that, that was, that was something that Malia, they were, have, they were, had blog posts about Malia Obama, right? That was, like, a while, like, you know, within the past couple of weeks. And, but this, this is the person who's doing the study. So I'm thinking that probably has something to do with the whole Schaefer thing. You know, I just, I don't, you know, seriously, I, I, you know, interestingly, in a way, and I've said this before, I've kind of said this since the glamour first started threatening me, uh, like, actually, like, threatening me, th threatening my life, and it was actually in 20, in 2010, they were already starting to do that stuff. In a way, you know, although I don't like it, it's more honest than, like, just the sexual harassment. At, at least, at least, at least there's, they're, like, Right out there, saying exactly, you know, what their what their intentions are to sh to show to show those intentions as being, you know, very violent, um, very controlling that kind of thing. I mean, because because a lot a lot of the sexual harassment, like it's like it takes the form of like, mm, they try to say it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't mean what it actually means, which is about dominance and control. Like they try they like a lot of sexual harassment. They try to pretend that it's like flattering to me in some way when really truly it's about dominance and control and it, and at least when they're just flat out threatening your life you know saying we're gonna kill you it's it's you know it's 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 at least you know it's a little bit at, le at least they are being honest about you know how they feel about you and then these ads are still here which i think are really terrible uh, i don't know which i don't remember which train station that is yeah, and then this this guy this guy it seems like he's now he's now been stalking me because there's you know uh, there's there's like a meeting I go to at the Paula Center. They have they have them every weekday, um, and I've been talking about the Paula Center lately. And so I I don't know really what's going on with this guy. I don't know if you know if I have I you know published some things recently about the Paula Center which were really disturbing, um, and sort of the, the meetings that I have there are not have nothing have nothing to do with like what the Paula Center does. It just kind of they just kind of rent the room from the Paula Center, um, and so I'll you know I this guy. I was on my way there this afternoon, and this guy, I heard him cough loudly at me um, from the other stairway, and I turned around, and I started videotaping me, which he really didn't like, he got really angry, and he was yelling at me, like, all the way, and I, he was yelling at me all the way up the stairs, and when I, I, you know, I talked back, I was like, look, you know, don't, you know, you sh then you shouldn't have bothered me, you know, if you didn't want me to take a picture. And then, when we got out of the train station, he went the other way, um, and so I thought he was gone, and then I crossed the street, and then all of a sudden he was back. He was like back, and he was like in my face, yelling at me, being like, you know, you can't take someone's picture. You can't take someone's picture. So then he, then he, he like walked away up the street, and I, which of course I can because it's public. You know, in, in public, you know, especially if someone's giving you a, real, a really, really terrible time. There's no reason why you shouldn't just, you know, hold up a camera and videotape them until they leave you alone, or at least, or at least until you know, so, so that they know there's a record, you know, being being there's something being recorded um, that shows how the way that they're treating you. Um, and I thought he was gone, and then I went into the Paula Center, and I just kind of, like, I told them at the front desk, you know, that this guy had been giving me, it guy had been giving me a rough time. I showed them the video of him. You know, I, I turned, I turned the sound off just so that they could, they could, see, they could see who the guy was. Um, and then I went upstairs, and he was actually, he was already in the building. So he, it's, uh, the feeling I'm getting about this guy is he knows who I am, 
and he stalked, he started stalking me at the policy center. He said during the meeting it was the second meeting, so I would think it would be like this week or something. He said I I just I just like I just like sat there through the whole meeting with my phone with my phone and I had already like dialed the numbers like nine one one into the phone in case he you know what whatever it is he was going to do during the meeting and then after the meeting he walked up to me and he was continuing to berate me he's like he was like he was like he's, 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 he he was like all right you know um. You can't, you can't just take pictures of people like that, you know, and if you, and, and, you know, you, a lot of people would have just broken your camera, blah, 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 and then he, I didn't say anything, I just looked at him, you know, well, well I still had my phone with, the, with, like, the numbers 911 dial in them, which I didn't even show him, I just, I just sat there and did not say a word to him, and then he, like, you know, he, he berated me, he was, like, a foot away from me, and then he went to the door, and he was, like, yelling at me from the door, you know, I mean, that's, that's what happened, that's what, ha that's, that's what happened. Um, yeah, and then there were, they were, you know, there were, there were transit police, um, at the, at, like, the train station when I left the meeting, probably because they had seen this guy stalk, like, stalk, first, you know, first harass me and stalk me and then go into the building, but they were, like, they had, like, the police car, the transit police cars had, like, conglomerate code, so that was, you know, I really, I really didn't appreciate that, I have to say, you know, I really didn't, um, so, and, you know, here's some more postal service trucks, that kind of thing, so, yeah, you know, more wet floor signs where they weren't supposed to be. This, this ad, this ad I find really, really disturbing. I just find it to be a very disturbing ad. And then there's this. There's this. This, this, this is, this is. You know, I mean, I had, I had said about Sleepies the other day at WordPress. Um, you know, it seems to me that they're get, they're getting video. They're get, they're getting video from from the, these hidden illegal cameras in my apartment. And then this is, this is. I had and I had written on my on my blog. You know, last week or the week before that, I started, I had started to get nightmares. And it, and it seems like, actually, they are encouraging this stalker that's been showing up at my WordPress blog and, you know, trying to, trying to, convince, trying to, trying to, trying to convince me that I'm crazy. Although I don't think, it doesn't seem to me he really cares about whether or not what he's saying is true. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's what it is. I mean, I think he, re, he really is just a really nasty person who's trying, to, who's trying to get attention from the conglomerate and his, his method of doing it is by saying, you're crazy, nobody sees it, blah, 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 even though he knows that I'm telling the truth about everything. And in fact, here's Sleepy is gi give, giving him, giving him support giving him support, right? And, it's, and I, I, thought about, I thought of this today, and it seems to me, if, I'm ever, if I ever you know, see, see the videos that were made of me in this apartment, if I ever find them, that sort of thing, I would think something like this um, you know, would at least tell me you know, who, who, who I might think about suing, who it is that I might think about suing, right? Because, because not only are they like making ads out of the video, out of the video that they're illegal, illegal video that they're getting from me, they're also support, supporting somebody who's stalking me and trying to say that I'm crazy, right? But I mean, the thing, things that things that like mimic gestures or anything else that happens in this apartment that's videotaped, you know, and they're they're getting it. They're, it's, it's illegal. It's illegal, you know. At least, and then and then they publicize it all. Well, at least you let me know who it is that I might think about suing if I ever find those tapes.